Constable Faversham sent me to tell you there's been death in the village. Old Ben Tolliver. Tolliver? Isn't he that old fisherman whose wife died several years ago? The same, sir. We found his boat adrift earlier tonight, and him dead on the deck. Natural causes? Not unless you count having half of his head missing as natural, sir. I see. Tell Faversham I shall be with him first thing in the morning. Uh, Perhaps I could come along. I may be of some use. Ship Surgeon Doyle, I understand you have need of my services. That we do. What do you make of these? Scratches in the wood, but I'm afraid that the significance of it escapes me. Recent. The wood exposed is unweathered. I'd say that whatever killed Tolliver made these marks. Bloody Nora! What the bloody now was that? Whatever it was, it, it can't have been human. It wasn't. It was one of the local ponies. Our target must have slaughtered it. Do you two do this kind of thing often? Too blooming often. We do have a knack of walking into trouble. Walking? Running headlong, more like. Or you'll just hop down. Stay back! Doctor! Look out! What is it? She's been drugged. The effects should wear off in a short while with no ill effects. She'll be fine by supper. Drugged? Who would do such a thing? Offhand, I'd suspect the one person missing from the picture. Ah, Doctor! (laughs) Miss Smith. The harpoon, Doyle! The harpoon! They'll kill you! Trust me on this matter. I want to trust you, but I cannot trust him without some reason. I do not appreciate you questioning my decisions continually. Then stop making them without thinking. How dare you, sir! My god! Something rammed us from below! But he's my friend, I- I'm sure! I'm sure you're a blithering idiot! Come along, Doctor! Sarah! Sarah! I'll get the black card. No, man, you'll only get lost in the dark. Miss Smith, are you alright? Doctor, is there nothing you can do? There's plenty I can do. I want to know what Ross was up to. 